Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Jack or Jessica here. I know you all want this from me and I am here to deliver. This is the jury guy you guys always wanted. The basics, the overview of the character, all that stuff, supers, etc. So, with that being said, if you like this content, let me know. This does take quite a bit of time to make. I would greatly appreciate you guys just taking time out of your day to like, comment, subscribe. But for now, you know, let's get into this. So, jury's playstyle, she is a very mixed bag, but mainly very solid and really a jack of all trades kind of character. Fireball, DP, good pokes, fast buttons, good movement, all that stuff. She's very versatile in what she can do. And she can really mess with any form of a game plan you want to do. You want to zone, you can do that. If you want to rush down, you know what I'm saying? You can just play neutral, play the footsies range. She's very good at almost any sense of wherever on the screen. She may suffer quote unquote only because of her store mechanic, but I do believe she has so many ways to store that it's not really a problem. I mean, you can throw it out, establish a fireball game, or you can do a combo, get a store on block or on hit. It doesn't really matter. So I think her weaknesses aren't really that potent per se, but you know, they can be there. They definitely can if you miss time a store. So just be mindful of that. But other than that, I don't really see many weaknesses with Jerry. So now let's talk about, you know, the good old classic, all the buttons she has. So to first start off, overall, I don't think Jerry has a bad button. And I think every button has its place and can be used in effectively depending on where you're at. So let's start with the very simple one, stand jab or five LP. You know, it's your four frames. You can chain, uh, can chain jabs into it. You can combo different things into drive up through with it. So you can do different things. It's a simple yet effective button. It's special cancelable, so you know you can do something like that. Now you have crouch jab. It's four frames as well. I believe it is slightly further than stand jab. Sometimes I have hit people close or uh, further from me. So it is a button definitely that I've used. A good amount of times like before it can chain together special cancelable nothing crazy all right so stand like it so this button is five frame startup the quite good ending poke especially when you're about to take down an opponent for the game or for the round it is quite effective in that and also it does combo into certain buttons such as stamina punch into stand like it works the cool thing about this button is that weirdly enough it is quite far sometimes it can come to heavy dp from very far range you'd be surprised how far you can go so this button is definitely a very solid poke all right so crouching light kick or 2lk five frame startup pretty solid poke crouch uh light kick into crouch jab into store as a safe train and the one thing i i like to do especially with jury is when i'm drive rushing in neutral because you are plus seven on hit you can combo into stamina punch, which establishes a good 50-50 when you're trying to apply pressure. But it is a very good poke. Yeah, nothing crazy about that. Now this button, stand medium punch. This button is six frame startup plus some block, which is very good for this game. Most of the time, if you ever see a character in this game, they may have one plus some block button and most times it's plus one. However, jury's a special case where it is plus two, meaning she can frame trap with her light. So she can do stand jab afterwards to counter poke someone if they try to press a button if they believe that she will go for a heavier button or not really a franchise I may go for walk up throw whatever this button is really going to be kind of a combo starter on hit you are plus seven meaning you can do stuff like stand medium punch crotch medium punch dp stand medium punch crotch medium punch it's a store especially drive rush it becomes plus 11. So with this button being drive rush, you can do stamina punch, stand heavy punch. And from there, you can do almost anything you choose. It's definitely one of those buttons where it's going to be used a lot in block trains, offense. You can also definitely, if someone tries to, let's say, on block, let's say they try to drive impact. So I have enough time to react and do another stamina punch but also since it's special cancel i can cancel it into drive impact so it definitely one of those safe buttons especially if someone's trying to jump or they're trying to drive rush in you can always check them with this because it does move her forward so the very good button for like a lot of things especially offense very good very good you definitely want to try this if you are trying to figure out your eight this is definitely a button you definitely will be using now crouch medium punch very good poke six string startup 
nothing cr uh, too crazy right there. However, it does go diagonal, and sometimes this actually can be jump-ins. It definitely is varied. It's not your quote-unquote anti-air, but it is a way to counter certain things in the air. It is reminiscent of Street Fighter 4 Jury, so if you want to, you know, try and use that by all means. It is also special cancelable, so you can do something like this. This is typically what people tend to do, so if they do Stamian Punch, Crutch Mean Punch, they may end it with Heavy Fuller or DP, like I've shown before, or Store. You can end this with all sorts of things. So it's one of those buttons where definitely you can use to end combos with. It is definitely a solid poke. When it's Drive Rush, it is plus nine. So, so it's definitely a button you will use for sure a good amount. Jury's Forward Medium Bunch. This button right here is a quite good. It's eight frame startup and it's good for combo extensions. It is a nice poke and you can definitely make it safe with store. It is negative three. It is safe on block. However, you definitely can get a store safely with this button. So it's definitely something most of your players may do. They may do something like this and they are safe on block. Even though you are negative four, it technically is punishable, but still at that range, you are safe. So it's definitely one of those pokes you, one of those pokes you can use to either just poke out neutral, see what they do. You can try and hit from it. You can drive rush with it. You can do a lot of stuff with it. So it definitely is a good button to use for sure. All right, now this infamously good button, jury stand medium kick. Um, this is literally just Street Fighter V medium kick in a nutshell, but also even better. I don't really know how they put made it better, but they did. Um, so this button is five frames, just like Street Fighter V. Uh, it's quite good. You know, good poke. She, she goes forward and it, the first hit special cancels so this button has two hits and the way that this works is that the first hit you have a good amount of time to special cancel it so if you are looking to special cancel this button or buffer it you can also just try and drive rush with it if opponent tries to counter poke and you may hit them because technically her her bugs kind of reels back a bit so it definitely is a good poke to use um it's safe on block uh, and when you drive rush, drive rush into it, on block, you are zero, but on hit, you are plus seven. So you can definitely experiment with certain different buttons depending on the frame, uh, frame data. So it is definitely a good poke overall. And it's a good drive rush poke. So let's say if you're trying to establish offense in neutral, you can sometimes do this. And if an opponent sees the button, so most of the time, they tend to get beaten by this button because it hits them first or the first it hits and it counter pokes them so then you get some maybe like this so it is a very good poke overall it's very solid very uh strong it really doesn't have crazy downsides but it's overall very good all right jury is crouching medium kick this button is eight frame startup by far very good special cancelable it's a solid offensive starter especially if the opponent's walking back or maybe they're not believing that uh, you can hit confirm it. You can just use it on, uh, on offense if they're trying to block it. You can get a store safely from it as well. And this button definitely is useful for clipping people on their feet, get a surprise attack on. It's definitely a very good button to do, do many things uh, afterwards, such as DP, store, uh, heavy full. Uh, you can do all sorts of things. You can do low four fireball, low forward into EX fireball. You can do so many things with this button. And this button is a very, very solid poke overall. Nothing too crazy. It's a typical low forward, but it is a very good low forward. All right, Jury's forward medium kick, or as everyone calls it, the overhead. Pretty normal overhead, none crazy. The only things about it that are actually kind of juicy is on hit after drive rush or on block. So typically with overheads in older games, they always used to be very punchable on block, kind of like round closers or st uh, you're about to get the stun, you have to do overhead. However, in this game, it's a bit different. Basically, in this game, all the overheads are safe on block. They're not really punishable or anything. You can't really do them. You can take your turn afterwards, but they're not really used to close out or like get post stun and be very risky. So this game definitely changed it up on the overhead game. And then with also drive rush added to it, with these now, they become plus on block. So since jury's overhead is negative three and drive rush adds plus four, frame advantage to your uh, button, this now becomes plus one. Meaning my jabs will beat out anyone's jab 
because they try to press. So that's something to take note of in this game. This applies to, I believe, every character who has an overhead. But if they drive rush overhead, they tend to be plus. And you can set up many different sequences such as throws, me uh meaties you can do all sorts of things so for example if jamie decides not to block the overhead i can get a full combo from this so it's definitely establishing in neutral or off of a okie situation uh 50 50 kind of so you definitely can get your offense started with this you can go low then high then high and low or something like that keep in mind of that when you are trying to establish offensive jury that there's many different ways to approach all right jury stand heavy punch this button is kind of slow at 10 frames startup, but it's a very far poke. As you can see, I'm hitting Jamie from a good range. It is special cancelable, and this is kind of one of your combo starters because mainly this goes into medium Fua, this goes into heavy Fua, and you get many good different extensions on this. You can go to 10 heavy punch into heavy store into D key. You can do so many different things with this button. So. It is one of those buttons that for sure you will use a good amount, especially when you're trying to poke, maybe buffer with drive rush, however you please. Now this button definitely can anti-air. However, it is a bit slow at times because it definitely can get smoked. So as you can see, I tried to do it on Jamie, but he beat me. However, I do it early, I can beat him. But even then, sometimes it's not crazy reliable. Jury's Crutch Heavy Punch. This is eight frame startup. Pretty solid anti-air. As you can see, if I do Jamie do this, he cannot jump in on me. So it's definitely a very solid anti-air. Definitely does, of course, lose to cross-ups. So if the opponent does try and crush you up at a weird angle or it's a natural cross-up, it may get you uh, beat, unfortunately. Um, this combo is the main thing, just like stand heavy punch, such as medium Fua, DP, do so many different things about this again um but yeah this button is pretty solid it's definitely a button uh, reminiscent of four and five of course with the difference from five to here this button actually moves you slightly forward in this game compared to five where it kind of had jury stand still but other than that overall this button is very good for drive rush combos good for uh anti-air it's just good for combo extensions all that stuff so it's an overall good button forward heavy punch this button is quite slow. 15 frame startup. It is punishable on block. So in order to actually even try to use this button, if they're blocking a lot, you have to store or you have to do something maybe to establish pressure or, you know, try and get something so that way you don't get punished because you are negative four. So you can't get jab punished. Other than that, this button is special cancelable. You can, it's a great combo starter because after this, you can do almost anything you please. So it is overall good to, you know, kind of poke out because if the opponent starts randomly drive impacting or doing something, you definitely can use this to poke. And keep in mind, it is two buttons. So sometimes one button, one part of the buttons can whiff and the other one can hit. But overall, this button is not too bad to use for poking. Just keep in mind, it is slow. So you don't want to use it necessarily too much over her other fast jury's heavy kick um this button is 17 frame startup it is safe on block with this button being safe on block you can actually do parry afterwards or you can wake up exp so you can definitely mix up your options on your opponent if you choose to just of course there's always a risk to uh everything so of course if you do roundhouse and they call out parry they can throw you and get you a punish counter call it exp they can definitely punish you super hard so keep in mind of that with heavy kick on punish counter they actually jump so with this being said you can definitely do something like uh heavy dp establish maybe an oki game you can do level one super so you can do all sorts of things like with this heavy kick but overall, it's a very solid poke. It is a very annoying poke considering Jury moves quite far for it. And also on Drive Rush, this comes plus six on hit. Meaning you can do something like this. But it is overall a very solid button to use for poking. Crouch Heavy Kick or Sweep as everyone likes to call it. 10 frame startup, good to punish things, move you forward. You don't want to do this too much on block or to spam. It's a very simple sweep, nothing too crazy. Not really much to talk about other than that it's a sweep, but yeah. She moves forward, which is pretty nice. It's back heavy kick. This button is definitely uh, back from five, 10 frame startup. It is special cancel to make safe. So you definitely do something like that. You can use it to throw bait people, especially on wake up. Someone believes that you're gonna throw with them a lot. You can all of a sudden do back heavy kick to 
make them sit down. It's definitely a, a button you can use to call out, you know, jumping too much or something like that. And you can also use it to probably check drive impacts as well. So overall, none, uh, nothing too crazy. Very simple button. So Jury's light jab is five frame startup. Um, this button, I'm not really sure to, what to use for other than if people try to cross you up, you just jump back jab, or if to end a game if they're jumping a lot, again, do the same thing, like just beat them in the air. But other than that, I don't have much to say about this button. Now Jury's jump medium punch is definitely a button people use a lot. It is seven frame startup, and it's good to use with a dive kick. So it's definitely something that people mess with a lot, especially, you know, waking up with it if the opponent tries to throw them or just use it for cool combo extensions, especially in the uh, air. So you definitely can do some cool stuff with this, such as this type of combo, but it definitely is useful for that. And then also just, of course, calling out jump, uh, jump outs. Jury's jump heavy punch, or as I like to say, jump on head, is 12 frame startup is definitely good for early jump ins because it hard knocks down so you get a meaty setup afterwards and also the weird thing about this button is that it actually can cross up at times but that didn't cross up but that did so it definitely varies on the angle where it's at can cross up i mean as a jury player i would say to take those but you know it's definitely a weird button to think about all right so jury jump light kick it's a four frame startup it can cross up uh combos into lights Good for starting pressure, a uh, low, low jab pressure, nothing too crazy. Jury's jump medium kick. It's six rings uh, startup. It's very common cross up to be used. You probably will use this a lot. So it's definitely a button that you can use to try and establish pressure with them, especially with jump in, so you can approach them in a different way. So Jury's neutral and forward heavy kick. She has two of these. This is her neutral jump version and this is their heavy kick forward heavy, uh jump they're both 10 frame starters are both the same and they both combo to heavies so they both combo uh kind of with stand heavy punch crouch heavy punch stuff like that with neutral jump heavy kick however this because she splits her legs she actually hits both sides so if someone was to bypass you she actually would hit them on either side the neutral one neutral jump one is definitely used for optimal combos because you definitely if you hit it late you can get forward heavy punch which is the most damaging thing you can do as a combo while well, forward heavy kick is definitely the very most common one because you want to go forward hit the person get the heavy uh damage going all that stuff so that's the one you'll use a lot but neutral jump is definitely useful has its own uses though so if you're trying to call it like a headbutt or something like that from honda it's definitely useful for that all right so jury's target combo specifically this one is not really used very commonly. So this is standing punch, back heavy punch, and then heavy punch again. So this target combo is not crazy useful on hit. I mean, you definitely keep them away. It's decent damage, but you can definitely do something better off of standing medium punch. The real interesting thing is on block about this button. The first two hits are actually safe on block, while the whole string is actually very negative. It's negative 16, so you don't want to use the whole thing. So the trick with this target combo is that you can actually just do the first two hits and because you're safe and you're at a good range you can actually sometimes counter punch people trash like punch sorry you can beat me right but if i wait a split second i can actually drive uh drive rush and then punish counter him so this target combo is definitely interesting i really haven't found a use for it Especially in longer combos or something like that. I've only found it useful if maybe I'm trying to get your my opponent's drive gauge down because it does take away roughly half a bar the first two hits. So you definitely can like do something like that. Um, but other than that, I haven't really found a use for it. I'm pretty sure it's probably people who can find a use for this, but in my personal opinion, I have not found a use for it. So if you do, let me know. But I only use it for a little bit of counter poke type thing, so uh yeah if you find use of four by all means all right so jury throws you know they're very simple throws nothing too crazy this one pushes them full screen in neutral and then back throw kind of roughly around the same time thing the trick with uh these throws specifically four throw actually is that you can dash up and you can throw a loop them a lot of characters in this game have throw loops and jury is one of them so you can definitely establish some pressure with this or you can actually just do something like fireball and just go from there 
So you definitely can mix up what you want on offense from this. And in neutral, typically the thing I tend to do is either I throw a fireball or I store or I can drive rush uh, into them uh, and just get something else going. But you definitely can do whatever you please. Uh, stores, I like they're called fuhajins, but I prefer to call them stores. With these, they enhance your fuas. I like telling them fuas, but they're also they have their own names. But these basically enhance all these normal. So you see these, these are just regular typical special moves. But if you have a store, it actually enhances them to be either a fireball, a combo, ex more combo extension, or a good combo and or extra damage. The stores, this one, the light version I'm doing, uh, can be up to negative four, but it definitely can be safe on block if you add a button to it, because some people's buttons do not reach that far. So you can make it safe and uh, it's very reliable to do that. Um, it causes a knockdown on hit, so you can establish pressure on them. So do whatever you please with that. But it combos into lights and mediums. And it's overall the one you're gonna use if you plan on storing in neutral as well. So keep in mind of that. Medium version, uh, as you can see, it slightly moves her forward and it hits at a longer range if you need it. For example, that hits versus light not hitting. But the only downside about this is that it is more negative on block. So it is negative six. However, you definitely can make it safe. But just keep in mind that because you go forward, you'll probably be closer to your opponent. And they may be able to punch you depending on the range. Heavy store. This one, she takes a good step forward. And you can tell because 25 frame startup is quite slow. And this on block is quite punishable. It is negative eight to negative nine roughly on block. But the trick with this one is that actually you can do juggles. So for example, you can do something like this. Or you can level one super, you can level three super, you can level two super. You definitely do many things. And overall, it's kind of like that. You don't use this really in neutral like that. It's not really meant to use it on neutral because uh, if you mess up trying to clash with a fireball or something, because these actually can clash with fireballs, you will take a step forward and you may get hit before this actually comes out. So bear in mind with that. Now the EX version of this actually does the same thing as heavy. It is a little bit faster at 16 frame startup. So it's one of those things. You can juggle people, especially if you're trying to do medium, medium combos. So you can do something like that. It's definitely nothing too crazy other than the juggle to probably maybe finish a combo or something like that. But you can do something like this, maybe to close out a round if you need to uh, use level one. Also, here's a fun fact about the stores, actually, is that you can indefinitely store in this game. So, the three is the most maximum she can have, but actually, she can store, she can use a store move, but you won't gain any more enhancements. But you can use this to deny fireballs. You can use this to just try and stop people from uh, pressuring, maybe. It's up to you, but yeah. This you can actually indefinitely store. All right, so Jury's Fuas. I like to call these Fuas, however, they have their own name, which I will tell you. But to keep it simple, I call them Fuas because that is the very simplistic name that people tend to call them. So Sai Hai Show, the light version, if it's not installed, very, very low area covered. Technically, it clashes with projectiles, but it's very bad on block and on hit with being it negative on hit and very negative on block. However, with this being enhanced, it turns to a legit fireball. Basically with this, with enhance, this fireball travels quite far. This is very good for establishing uh, space. It travels slow, so you can definitely catch your opponent maybe if you wanna dash forward, go with a fireball, or sometimes you don't even have to go with the fireball, you can just store it back up and do it all over again. And then also with the trick is that you can actually dry rush afterwards on it. And people now believe, or now people see that you have a wall kind of, or like a defensive shield behind you. So in case they do try and press a button, the fireball will hit them and you can uh, actually poke them after they hit you potentially. So this is definitely a fireball you can mess with, especially setups and maybe situations where you want to make a super super plus maybe establish you know something like this an overhead uh fireball setup so you can do something like that um ex fireball is two hits as you can see and it causes a knockdown so if i have them nope not blocked causes a knockdown you can use it for okay situations it goes quite full screen i believe it does actually does go quite full screen uh all the way full screen so it is quite far to 
actions it at so it's up to you however you uh you want to use it you can definitely use it as a screw neutral move or maybe you want to establish pressure by doing this you can actually combo off of this uh i believe in the corner with dp so you can do stuff like this however you don't have much time to recognize it so unless you see maybe a button hit into it you may not be ready as much but it is a good dx move overall all right now for akintatsu as i like to call medium fuwa when it's not uh enhanced or not installed it is very basic nothing too crazy you're safe on hit or you're plus three so you get pressure afterwards but you don't get any combos because the fast button in this game is four frames however when she has her stores then that's actually when it gets interesting the enhanced version on hit becomes plus eight so it's a definitely a big jump from uh non hands so basically with this but with this special move you can actually do any almost any medium you do four me punch get the store back you do low forward and get the store back or do more damage you can do so many things with this specific uh combo extension so it's definitely useful for that on block this is not ideal because it is negative 10 on block so it is double digits so someone can uh punish you very hard for doing this so you definitely don't want to use this unless you're comboing from a button so for example if i do forward heavy punch into it something like that will work typically with this uh special move you want to use it uh right after a heavy button because those are what it can combo into but uh, it's not good for poking out or anything um ex is kind of the same thing only you have more frame advantage on hit because you are plus nine so you can actually use something like this maybe if uh you don't have enhancements or, or stores stocked up they could do something like that um this does not use a stock uh fun fact all the ex moves of fuas do not use stocks at all so if you want to if you don't have stocks for example establish pressure you can do something like this and then that gets you started get decent damage and you actually get a store right afterwards now go hold satsu or heavy fuwa the regular version nothing too crazy decent combo ender you get oki afterwards however it is very unsafe on block so it is negative 11 again double digits so but then the enhanced version actually does more damage it gives you oki uh, nothing too crazy, um, but it is unsafe on block, so keep in mind of that. Sometimes juggle, actually, depending on what you do. So, for example, if I, if I activate Feng Shui, which we'll get into way later, and I do this uh, combo, I can actually juggle into EXCP. So, depending on the height, it actually can change up where you're uh, landing or, or how the opponent's juggled. So, keep in mind of that. But overall, this is very good for combo enders. Um, for EX... It's a good combo ender to close out rounds maybe or to close out a game because this is actually a tip for uh, all you guys who uh, run on jury. Any Fua can cancel another Fua. So the way that the chains work or like the cancels work is that if you press one of the Fua's, if you do core circle forward, let's say a heavy Fua and it's enhanced, keep in mind these have to be enhanced in order to work. But if you want to go from heavy to medium, you do core circle forward heavy, but then you just press medium kick right after it, it ends. As you can see by my inputs, and I just get medium. So let's say I do stand, heavy punch, and then let's say I do this. I do fireball, but I want to cancel into uh, heavy. So I did core circle forward light kick, and I press heavy to do that, and I got Oki. Okay. Or if you want to do something very, very cool, you do stand, heavy punch, medium, uh, light into me. You can do something like that and you actually get plus eight and you can actually continue combos so that's something that jury players tend to use a lot so you definitely want to use that to your advantage especially if you plan on chaining them to do those very crazy twitter combos um but yeah that's a little useful tip also here's another useful tip just in case people are confused about which ones to activate different ex who was because depending on which two buttons you press you actually get different versions so for example if you want ex fireball it's core circle forward light and medium kicks if you want ex medium fuller it's light and heavy kicks and if you want ex heavy it's medium and heavy kicks and also you can chain the ex ones just like the regular ones so you can do just like that all right so let's talk about jury 10 7 or as everyone calls it uh dp so let's talk about light dp Light DP is nothing too crazy. Um, it's a good knockdown ender. 
they get okay after it uh it is quite negative on block which i believe is double digit or actually sorry it's negative eight on block so it's nothing too crazy i mean you can do cool combos such as you know heavy store like bb and you get okay it's not your ideal combo ender per se but it's something like decent so you can use it at the starting but there's definitely more optimal ways to use it. you can also actually cancel into super however into level three but it is a little bit hard sometimes even i'm struggling with it so keep in mind if you don't get it it's okay no no not everyone can get it so it's probably fine now medium dp is definitely your go-to anti-air so for example if i still have jamie jump i just beat him right away this is definitely your ideal anti-air of what you want to do she does not move very far from where she's at and that's a good thing because if a person has a weird angle of a jump in you can actually just do this and it'll hit a good amount of times it's a simple tool to use yet really hard to master because most people don't really uh learn how to anti-air so this is something you want to learn as just a player in general how to anti-air dp so this stops people from crazy jumping in trying to test you with the jump ins and you know their condition to not jump at you no more this is a tool you want to learn now far as far as heavy dp heavy dp is more so for far reaching jump ins so if i have jamie a jump heavy dp which reaches quite far it's, it's a really good anti here and you get not bad oki but the same points as medium you want to learn it you want to master it all the good stuff um exp is your invincible wake up move uh just like uh from true five and four um if your opponent is trying to pressure you you just can wake up with this nothing too crazy um yeah other than that you can use it to close out maybe uh rounds or games that's decent damage so you do stuff like that all right so jury's dive kick Shin Shinkusen. I'm probably butchering this, but please forgive me. This is good for air juggles. This is good for going on fireballs. It definitely is pretty solid. However, the trick with this uh, special move is that it can be very unsafe on block or it can be simply uh, safe. But the trick with this special move is that depending on where it hits on the body, varies how uh, how safe or unsafe it is. So for example, if I try and jamming from top of my top of his head, I'm negative nine. But if I try to lower, I'm safe on block, potentially. Most of the time, you are within uh, anywhere from negative three to negative nine, and it can vary. Um, you don't want to use it too much because you definitely will get punish counter because after special moves, you are in punish counter state. So you definitely don't want to use it. However, the cool things with this dive kick is with, you know, stamp jump mini punch because you can do something like this and it can combo. Or if you just want to do it to go around fireballs and you hit them, you can drive rush and then get Oki off of it. So you can do stuff like that. Um, EX is a bit different because if you use all the hits, uh, it juggles them even further. But if you use only one hit, you can actually get DP. So it varies depending on which version you want. If you want all the kicks one or you just want the straight, straight hit, it all depends. But with the... All strings version where it juggles them you can actually get cool juggles such as dp you can actually get heavy fua you can actually get stuff like that and actually the more that the lower you delay it you actually can get cool even cooler juggles you can actually get some drive rush sequences going you can actually do a lot of stuff for example because i hit them kind of high and i delayed it you actually get cool combos like that so it varies depending on the angle and everything, but it is more so a surprise move. I tend to not use it crazy amount, but I try to use it as a way to show people that I can have different jumping angles. All right, so let's talk jury supers. First off is her level one super. I'm not gonna pronounce the name because I don't know how to, but it is a projectile super. It works well with juggles such as heavy store and other ones. And also you can do some cool stuff with it. They can do something like this. So it's nothing too crazy. It pushes them full screen. So keep in mind of that. So you are able to get a free store if needed. It takes away one half of the drive bar. So if you want to maybe just close to burn out someone. Or maybe uh, you want the their drive gauge to deplete slightly fa lower than yours. Or something like that. It's up to you. And a fun little tip is that if you have a store actually with it. And you hold a kick button. Any kick button while the super is happening. It will consume a sword, but do extra damage. So, 
that's the trick with storing afterwards especially with heavy stores that if you choose to get a store but then you do level one and if you want to burn the store for extra damage for the level one by all means now feng shui is a very special super because it is an enhanced or i uh, install super sorry and it actually is very interesting to use because this one is very freedom based so what this super is actually does is that it chains any normal into each other so i can do uh stand medium punch light kick into stand medium uh kick and all this so i can do something like that and it's not that's not supposed to be really a combo in this game however she's able to do stuff like this the only problem or not say problem but i guess the only counter to this was that it's very scaled depending on what you start with so for example if you start with lights for every hit it's going to scale lower lower by 10 percent so you tend to not want to do light 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 medium medium heavy heavy kind of like thing because it'll do a uh, very low damage however if you do medium medium into heavy it actually does a good amount so that's one thing you want to keep in mind when doing this also another thing about this is that this makes any special move now cancelable so now crouch light kick is special cancelable you know any other normal that wasn't special cancelable is now special cancelable um this also has different properties for different moves depending on when you use this for example if i do a medium medium crouch medium punch into medium kick into crouch fierce crouch fierce is now a launcher So now you can do something cool in the air with it and you can actually jump with it punch into dive kick however you please or you can like do jump medium punch heavy kick and dive kick get the oki situation so this is definitely a freedom based super so you can do so many things with this changes heavy kick as well heavy kick launches so it's definitely something to take into consideration because this changes a good amount of jury's normals what from what you think of so this super is definitely super freedom based there's so many cool combos on twitter and on youtube and everything about this uh super it is very uh it is kind of annoying to use sometimes only because it is a level two so just keep in mind you won't have a level three or you may not have a level one depending on your meter usage but it definitely has its uses especially trying to chip out for drive sequences or maybe they're in burnout and remember with burnout uh you add plus four advantage to every normal or anything you have so you can actually use that to your advantage especially because these buttons go from being negative on block to being potentially plus on block so you can do stuff like that and also fun fact if you do the super and you hold a punch button you can actually do a little dash it's reminiscent of the sure 5v skill and you get a combo started from this actually for example i can do something like this you do something like that so this is a very freedom based super use it how you see fit and now finally her final super uh her level three her level three is quite useful it is 10 frame startup and it's fully eventable and it goes decently far, nothing too crazy. Um, this is useful, especially if you're in a situation where maybe you're low on drive gauge and you need to recover from it, or if you want to put the opponent in burnout because it takes away two bars of the drive gauge, so keep in mind of that. Um, it can come with certain special moves, such as this. You can do something like light DP as I showed before. It's definitely used a lot. Um, sometimes it can anti-air, uh, it can do so many different things. So it's up to you to use what you feel is personally best. You may not see many level twos from me, but don't, don't discourage you. Don't make me discourage you from you. So as you can see, overall, Jury is quite a versatile character who can perform many combos and savage space for herself. She can especially cancel many buttons and be creative in her approaches. She can zone you out. She can pressure. She can play neutral. She can do so many different things. Um, some little tips like to play jury is that you want to try getting space and use stores and combos or block strings to establish pressure, but also use her pokes to convert. They can do stuff uh, that's pretty cool overall. Um, but yeah, she is very, very, very versatile. You can do so many things with this character. It's actually kind of crazy. Um, this is definitely something that you definitely want in a character if you want a Jaguar trades character who. Um, can almost do anything and to a point where I could say she almost has almost nothing wrong with her Then this may be a character for you. She is quite good in this game currently right now as of making this video and Overall, I would say try and give her a shot if you enjoy the way she plays and everything um, This definitely took a lot of time because it definitely took 
a good script and try and understand this and shout out to my editor for doing all this this is definitely something that i know you guys wanted to do and i was like you know what i'll try and deliver for the people but yeah make sure to subscribe for sure uh to show the support but uh, like comment subscribe let me know what you guys want in the next video and i'll see you next time peace